Hello, everyone. Father Rob Longbottom here with the good news at St. Paul's Chapel. This week, our theme is God is our friend. And we're going to look this week at Psalm 25. And Psalm 25 is really kind of a, a love letter or a friendship letter from David, King David, to God. David wanted God to know that he thought he was the best friend he could have. In the psalm, he talks about how trustworthy God is, how God gives good advice, how God loves him, how God forgives him, that he helps, that God helps David make good choices, and that God helps him in times of trouble. And what I was hoping that you will think about this week is what is a good friend to you? What does it mean for you to have a good friend? You know, I shot a video that with my really good friend, Jared Mills. It was for previous chapel, uh, God is Faithful, but I didn't use that video. But in that video, it really talks about what friendship means and how friends are faithful to one another over long periods of time. So I want to offer that brief video for you to think about what it means to be a friend to someone else. God bless, and here comes that video. Hi, Father Rob Longbottom here, and I bet you're wondering, where are you, Father Rob, and why aren't you in your priest clothes? Well, I'm here at a place called Camp San Joaquin in the Sequoia National Park, and I'm here to talk to you today with the good news about God's faithfulness. That's right, today in our series of Who is God, we're going to talk about God is faithful. And when I think about the faithfulness of God, I think about the people of Israel. The Old Testament of the Bible is filled with stories about the people of Israel who had to trust in God's faithfulness to help them through the most difficult of times. And in fact, when they were uh, thinking about God's faithfulness, when they were remembering God's faithfulness, there was a couple of things that they always had in mind. The people of Israel loved to build things to remind themselves of God's faithfulness. They built things called Ebenezer's or Cairns, which are little symbols along the way that God's remind them of God's faithfulness. And then they would build things like churches or temples and synagogues. This place here, Camp San Joaquin, was built by people who trusted in God's faithfulness. And even today, it's used by people who know that they can trust in God. And so places are really important when we think about God's faithfulness because he is faithful. There's a second thing that the people of Israel and those who trust in God can use to think about God's faithfulness. So come here, I wanna, I wanna show you something. I wanna show you something that's probably even more important than a place. And that thing is a person. This is my friend, Jared. Jared and I met a long time ago, and we've shared a lot of special moments right here at this camp. We both love Camp San Joaquin, right, Jared? Yes, we do. And the thing about Jared is that we haven't seen each other in over 15 years, but he and I have been faithful friends for that time. And I know that if any, there's anything I ever needed, no matter where I lived in the world, because I lived in New York, I've lived in Florida, and I've lived here, Jared would do everything he could to make sure that I would have what I was needed if I was in trouble. And hopefully Jared would know that I would do the same thing for him. What do you think, Jared? Yeah. Yes. And so when Jared and I are here, when we think about faithfulness, I really think about Jared and how I need people in my life to trust in, to know that I can have faith in no matter what. And so when you think about God's faithfulness, I want you to think about places that, that are built to remember God's faithfulness, like the chapel, or the St. Paul School, or Camp San Joaquin, or all of creation. And I want, to think, want you to think a little bit more importantly about who in your life reminds you of God's faithfulness, simply by the character of who they are. For me, it's this guy, Jared. And now, I hope you guys have a great week in chapel and learn a lot more about God's faithfulness. So, Jared, you got a joke for us today? <laughs> I guess we'll go right to one of the kids from school for the joke. What do you say? That sounds great. All right, now for the joke of the day. Did you hear about the kidnapping at school? It was fine. He woke up. <laughs>